Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to my channel, Cross Stitch with Luda. This is a channel about uh, my hobby, my cross stitch. And um, you can see now my ready piece from Mirabilia, almost ready because I still have to add some beads. And um, before that, I will show you the preview and I will tell you what else I will be showing in this video. Uh, this is a design from 2023, if I remember very well, or 22. <laughs> I can't remember, honestly speaking. This is design MD181, and um, it was a gift. And I'm very, very thankful, thankful for the person who gave it to me in my hardest time. And I obviously had to stitch this gorgeous design by Nora Corbett and as you can see she is gorgeous even she is not fully done yet but I'm going to add beads when I will have mood I don't know probably next week uh, currently I'm working on another piece but um, slowly slowly okay um, to, in today's video I will show you two Velke uh, Patoku stands they are both uh, traveling stands or you can use them daily it's up to you I'm, I'm going to show you the little star from Shutterline, uh, which is done, and uh, I'm ready for another one. As well, I will show you two of my uh, current pieces. And um, I was thinking, uh, because I did not show you the uh, results, uh, my uh, 2023 and 2024 uh, final um, year review so instead of that because i wasn't stitching that much as previous years i'm gonna show you i'm thinking to show you all my unframed pieces which which is partly i show on uh, my instagram uh, it's l bernard 1307 uh, what else will show you my little purchases i'm not sure if i'm gonna show you my old purchases because it's gonna take probably another half an hour and uh, I'm not used to talk as much and uh, today I have my final exams in French so I hope I will have a little bit more free time and I will make another video soon so let's go back to Mirabilia uh, first of all I was uh, stitching here mostly and nothing else uh, okay, I, I, I took a little break for uh, man, mini mandala, and uh, which is also took a lot of time. But because I was every single day at school, from Monday till Friday, I uh, did stitch a little bit. Besides that, I was busy with other stuff, and uh, there were some days I did not even touch my cross stitch at all. But uh, honestly speaking, this is a bigger mirabilia than we used to lately. Uh, okay, before first Mirabilia there were quite large, uh, like this one. This is a piece, a uh, quarter yard, and the fabric is uh, Apolesen, hand dyed uh, by Ekaterina Kondratenko. She is Ukrainian a lady who dyes uh, fabric, and I use her fabrics in many, many of my designs. So again, this is 30 second count of linen. After she died, it's probably 34th, 33rd, I don't know, I'm not sure. But um, most of the threads you use uh, DMC here. And um, you can see the list of the supplies. Tons of beads, three Karen, Mill Hill Treasure, Krenik, one Krenik, which I replaced with uh, Rainbow Gallery because I could not find a Krenik. I was so in a rush to stitch this design that I... Oh my God, I just realized I forgot a little piece and a rose here. I just look at the preview, believe me or not. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'm gonna edit. <laughs> it's not the final result. Also, it will be another rose. Gorgeous because I love stitching roses here. Actually, I will show you the uh, Karen, which I have left over right here. 
So this is a box was gifted by uh, my friend Elena. She's also Ukrainian. You probably know her. I've uh, been showing her and my other friend in videos before. And also she gave me those gorgeous scissors. They are amazing. Uh, it's like my favorite scissors right now. I saw she had this one and I was like, oh, what kind of scissors are they? And she said, they, they're a bit pricey, but they're worse. They're worse. Um, I think it's, they're called the scissors, something like that. It's made in the United States. I know they have other designs as well and I would buy. Honestly speaking, I would buy because, uh, okay, I love Saju scissors. I love uh, collecting scissors, but um, Look at them. For me, very important to have very sharp and and you can see they are much better than this one. Um, yeah, so, but both of them are great. I just, I prefer this one. My personal preference. So I was really happy to use those scissors while I'm working with my uh, designs. Um, stitching and this box is great for Mirabilis because I put here all the DMC threads, everything, honestly speaking, whatever. I can put even bits in here, but while I'm stitching, uh, you know, I'm using pack organizer. So when the thread finish, I just take any one I need. And uh, yeah, this is all the Karen water lilies left. You can see not using a lot. So it's probably will go to my other design, mm, hopefully. And yeah, this is a great gift from my friend to me. And I'm really happy about it. And uh, maybe you're looking for something to organize your work as well. I'm not sure from where this box is. Um, uh -huh. This is a con... Guys, one second. I just want to show you. And I hope I will not destroy my box. <laughs> but I will try my best. This is from this company. Handcraft Cabra Mary Woods, Wisconsin. Okay, I made it. <laughs> oh, great. So, also, you're gonna need beads for this work, which I hope I will do faster than uh, before the spring, but everything. I will show you closer what kind of beads, what numbers, how many of them left. I'm using this while I, while, uh, YLI invisible thread to uh, add beads. And uh, this is a tray from Wood Wool Stories, which I love using and I use it every day, either for beads or even candy I put here or my other stuff. Sometimes I, when I stitch, I drink coffee with candy. Okay, it's time to show you my work closer. And ta da! <laughs> I can explain to you how much I love her and how that happened. I did not see the other rows, I did not stitch. I thought I was done completely with stitches, but she doesn't want to let me go <laughs> she wants me to be with her for another time no problem so each rose you work um, with a karen water lilies which i show you the pink one and you don't know how it will turn what color it will turn but you can just cut the color the pink color and not use uh, the purple one or uh, yellow or it's up to you, but I like to have some fun uh, colors in my roses. Also here, I think you use a little bit of Karen. This is the best part. First of all, you stitch it very fast and you have to uh, change your thread a bit often. Uh, boring part for me probably was somewhere here. Wherever is Karen water lilies, it's so much fun to stitch. Also, this part um, I love roses, so much fun. I stitch this part faster than ever. I just 
maybe I wanted to finish it. Um, no idea, but I love it so, so much. Every detail of this design, it's just amazing. So beautiful. And you know, Nora design um, quite a bit of lady who are sleeping, like Sleeping Beauty, Sleeping Princess, Muka, oh, Fairy Idol. So I stitch Fairy Idol and Muka. I, I almost done with Rosa Mood. And I want to stitch the Sleeping Beauty, which is out of print chart, and um, Sleeping Princess. I think it's still for sale. So I think that's it for Mirabilia. <laughs> Almost 10 minutes I was talking about her. And let me show you two stands which I promise you to show from Velki Potoku. So I received the other uh, day stand. I just did not have time to record video because of my exams. And I'm a bit tired today because I've been talking a lot. It was um, a long day for me. And uh, I came back from school and immediately I wanted to make a video. Otherwise, I don't know when I will make a video. Tomorrow is our last day at school before we will uh, go to another level. Who passed exam? Well, I hope I passed because honestly speaking, I was the best in class. Also because I learned French by myself for quite a while. So it was easier for me than for other students. Anyways, um, that's why I'm sometimes jumping from one subject to another one. Um, so here you see, uh, this is the older stand, which I have from 2019. And this one is kind of new. I think it's 2023. Uh, yeah, for sure, 2023, because I receive it I received it this year in the beginning of January, but it was sent to me uh, a bit earlier. Uh, so this stand I've been using for almost five years and it's been traveled with, uh, traveled with me all over the world. <laughs> I've been four months with this stand in Asia, one second, in Canada. This stand was everywhere with me and also in Europe before the war when we travel. So. The, I want to show you the difference between these two stands in case you're curious. It's not a big difference, it's just the design and uh, um, this new stand is much more modern. Um, this is more simple, but both of these stands have the same uh, options. You can turn your work and you can use the other side, you can fix your thread um, or whatever reason why also both of these stands you can use either for hoops or for Q-snap because it, it has enough space to go down if you turn this handle and you can put anything you want to. I mean even the biggest Q-snap you can put in here it just won't be that uncomfortable uh, comfortable to stitch as with smaller work but uh, being said that i've been stitching on that uh, stand just regular dimensions gold big big design collection i was stitching uh, balloons glow if you remember <laughs> so yeah and balloons glow also travel with me all over the world <laughs> with this stand in other designs also stitch so the newer stand, it's almost the same size, almost the same size. It's quite, quite new. It's very comfortable to use. What I like about this stand that um, the, it doesn't have this uh, handle. It has this one instead. So you can turn till whatever angle you need and just stop it. it is, brand new stand that's why i just try it and lately i think it will be easier to do it but still it's not that hard also i like this color a bit more than this one and um, there is a protection cover for the stand and uh, my advice for you to use it otherwise you will have some scratches unnecessary scratches just take care of the stand uh, or you can use another um, another bag for it. 
so it has the same option here as well you can put hoops or you can put uh, Q-snap it has enough space for you to play with it and yeah and just the design is to me much better and I love the color and it's a bit smaller it's almost uh, the same here but if you put it all the way you can see there one second they're almost the same just a bit smaller it looks thinner here yeah it definitely thinner than this one and yeah I love my boss stands and uh, I'll be using them in my travelings uh, so that's it for Velke Potoko I will leave their Instagram in case you're interested um, also they have website you can see the other, other stands and I do have another two stands one is a bigger bigger one M M2 I think uh, the biggest one also I use for Q-snap and for hoops for small for big work but this is more for traveling but you can stitch it in a bed and you can just can stitch uh, in your table you can stitch uh, daily some work I just prefer when I stitch I prefer to use little chair so my legs are straight I don't like to sit and uh, my, 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 my legs not feeling very well after some time um, but uh, if you let's say want to stitch in bed you can stitch in bed using this design it's also comfortable you just either put pillow under or whatever okay that's for this two stands I'm done and let me show you my finish so I uh, stitch uh, designs from Shutterline there are four stars the bigger one and honestly speaking you can use I told you I remember uh, in this star you can put any other herbs or flowers or whatever but uh, all the frames are the same the difference is what you stitch inside I usually start from the uh, bottom and I stitch the whole star uh, or um, at least some frame and then I start uh, stitching the central uh, design so this one I messed up a little bit it's supposed to be lower I don't know what I was thinking lately I do so many mistakes which I would never do before but because I stitch not as much as uh, other years that's why I uh, don't have much time to concentrate myself I have a lot of things in my head and um, it is what it is I will show you this star closer and you can see how pretty it is but the whole pretty and beauty I cannot show you because you use a lot of uh, silks you do a lot of different stitches here Jessica um, Rodo stitches uh, Tansel back stitch beads rainbow gallery crystals beads petites tons of backstitch even it seems not a lot but um, yes just look at this design <laughs> and there is no way I will show you all the beauty uh, just through the video also Algerian eyelids and I would like not to take a big break and stitch another star the last one and then I'm ready to start a big mandala which I planned to start last year but uh, because of the lack of time it did not happen so tons of NPI silks I will show you everything in my last uh, uh, video for the star when it will be ready I hope soon but we'll see I don't make any plans for this year I have a lot of things started and for me the priority is to stitch what I uh, started already and then if I let's say have mood or possibility to get another design or start something I plan it before I will start but um, my plan is to work on my started designs a bit 
I'm not saying I will work a lot because I know myself. Once I'm gonna say I will only start, I will be only teaching things I have started already. It's not gonna happen. Um, for those holes in Algerian eyelets, I use big needle because I like to have big, big hole. You can see it. Yeah, tons of NPI. Also, quite a lot of for this small design. DMC. Look how pretty it is. I just love it so so much. Oh, you know, I don't frame my work, but uh, if I would frame, I definitely would frame something with herbs or um, maybe sampler. Mirabilia, of course, but not dimensions. Dimensions I love, but I love to see it in my role. I don't see it anymore as a picture on my wall. I prefer more designs, something like crazy ones. <laughs> Even Mill Hill I sometimes see in my house, but because of the whole things going on in my country, I don't frame any more pictures. Um, I have more than 70 designs framed and they're all over Ukraine, in Kyiv, in Zaporozhye, everywhere. And uh, that's why I kind of have no motivation to frame, even though I want to see them on my wall. But um, as I said, I almost have nothing on my walls now, except one uh, Mill Hill small uh, design and one standing here in my shell. But that's it. And uh, I don't know how long I will have this kind of mood, but there is nothing I can do at the moment. So uh, this start took a lot of time to stitch, even it's small, but because lots of stitches, lots of uh, thread changes, you pay a lot of attention and also all these beads and crystals you stitch very fast when you have time. When you don't have time, take some time again. So, I want to show you a few stuff I got from DMC, from the Jap from Japanese store, but it was sent to Ukraine. We pay a lot of for the shipping, but this kind of hoops, they're so much fun, but they're great. They're great. I love DMC hoops as, as well as uh, Nurge, but Nurge, they're thicker, but for smaller work, this is perfect. I love it so, so much. And um, I have another color. I, I got three. One I gifted to a uh, girl who also wanted them, but it was very hard to ship them to Europe. But I make her surprise. I hope she's happy. So another hoops are here already using them. You can see they're different, but the same size. I would like to have another size. They're great for pictures, I think. So this sampler plan is to finish in 2024, because I got tired, you probably got tired to see it in every video, <laughs> but I stitch slowly, slowly, because you use only one color and you get bored from it. I just need some colors and, um, you know, samplers you have to count a lot. It's, I think it's half. Yeah, I'm almost done. And um, the, this part, I think it will be more fun to stitch. And I hope I have enough fabric. Yeah, I have more. I, I could leave more borders here. But I was too scared that I won't have enough because this is 40 count of linen again from Katya Kondratenko from the Ukrainian dyer, uh, fabric dyer, hand dyer, <laughs> I don't know how to say. And look at this horse, I got it um, together with hoops. This is organizer and it's great for uh, samplers, designs when you don't use a lot of uh, threads, so just put it here. Just make me feel happy and inspired. It's beautiful, huh? Mm, I love horses. By the way, Susie is here. She came back. <laughs> she was here a month ago. 
uh, she stay from uh, December till 7th of January and now she's back again so I have my little Susie <laughs> she makes me so happy my little Susie my little puppy she's sleeping now she's having a nap uh, what else oh yeah my um, my um, artichoke from Taya Gouverneur but I hope you like this work as well it's pretty huh? it's so gentle I already washed it once and I think I will wash it again uh, sometimes I'm kind of sensitive to stitch this work because this is the only uh, cross stitch I took when I was escaping the war and I did not even have hoops so I stitched it and hence it was horrible it's much better to stitch with hoops but before I only stitch hands and uh, now only with hoops so let's go to my artichoke there is no much progress I just started it because I wanted to have a break from Mirabilia and um, this is how it looks like on the preview again these kind of designs I would frame because I think it's perfect for kitchen and I love artichoke I love eating artichoke I like the way it looks like for me it's a bit uh, exotic um, what is it's not that fruit I am now confused guys sorry I should have been better <laughs> prepared but I will google after I finish video don't worry anyways um, yes um, this part is the hardest this one this is easier this is also easy to stitch it's just I'm not used this kind of technique stitching this grass but I'm almost done as you can see this is the part for this I have not much to stitch I would say definitely I a stitch half because this one will be so easy to stitch it's not like uh, this took a lot of time to stitch well let's say half almost half whatever uh, my plan also together with uh, reflet de soie the previous design I show you roses blanches uh, I want to finish in 2024 these two designs I need to finish this one I need to finish because I need to uh, empty one organizer so one of my uh, oldest uh, whips will go to the organizer it will be faster to progress in the future and uh, roses blanches because it's been a while and I'm got tired and you got tired I know I hear you <laughs> and uh, yeah most of my uh, designs uh, I'm stitching in hoops Nurgia this design is stitched with Nurgia 7 but the thickness it's not the, the 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 best one the best one is like this I think 24 not sure what size it is I am now out of cross stitch world I don't even watch videos to be honest uh, I'm listening broadcasts I'm uh, watching tons of stuff about the war documentary some Netflix gossip stuff like that but I've been asked by a lady uh, about uh, stitching in hoops she's she was doing what I was saying and uh, she said her uh, stitches were better when you use uh, the thicker hoops but when she take out of hoops and she wash her work her uh, fabric shrink a bit which is normal and her stitches became uh, a bit loose and the back stitch because I always recommend do back stitch as you go uh, but when you don't wash your work when you wash your work your back stitch will be loose and it will uh, either you have to restitch it, stitch it or from another side you have to fix it to make it tighter um, but uh, she was not happy about her stitches they did not uh, go back to uh, the one she saw on hoops which is normal because the tightness on hoops is different when you have your fabric but when you frame your work it will be tight and stretched um, we, if you have professionals doing that it should be perfectly stretched 
and then your stitches will be just as perfect as before so don't worry about that just mind if you stitching on um, sorry about the lightning you know I'm living in Brussels and here it's a uh, permanent <laughs> permanent <laughs> well, uh, twilight I'm living in twilight <laughs> so <laughs> there is never sun here never ever <gasps> oh crazy either rain or clouds and today it was crazy wind so yes um, if you're planning to wash your work do not um, do backstitch it will be hard to do it at the end I, I can hear you I know that but um, then you don't have to redo your backstitch if you don't plan to wash your work like I would not advise you to wash Mirabilia because you use hand uh, dyed threads uh, do not wash any mandala because also there are silks and you don't know their behavior after you wash them uh, besides that especially when you add beads and crystals this is no no um, samplers as well and you know sometimes we buy for samplers hand dyed fabric um, to have a look like it vintage like it not clear it's not been washed for some time and then you have to wash it like why so um, yeah uh, Mirabilia I don't wash samplers I don't wash I don't wash just then I almost don't wash anything anymore because my role traveling with me all over the world and I don't want to um, wash it my, my hundred times as well uh, it's laying in my luggage uh, the roll with all my uh, uh, FOs and uh, it has a little smell because of the time I understand that there is nothing I can do I'm not living in one place otherwise it will be in my cupboard on a hangers which I show you before how I do it all the time at the moment I have no wardrobe I have my luggage is full of my clothes I bought it uh, I bought the stand from Ikea just to put my clothes on and uh, apartment is quite okay it's about 100 square meters but there is no wardrobe and I'm struggling with that and I, honestly speaking I did not bring here a lot of my clothes it's not what I need at the moment I'm just saying I don't have enough space to hand on my uh, finishes they are quite heavy so that's it with the artichoke I will show you closer a bit closer you stitch with um, it, it's I think it's 36 count uh, you can see the size here and I think it's 36 count of linen by Zweigert and made in Holland which is our neighbor country here and again you stitch with one thread DMC thread over two this part is going pretty fast but here it was a bit a mess but I love designs by the governor you see here a little mark I don't know from from the chart or from I hope it's not a chocolate <laughs> there is maybe some fur from uh, some hair from Susie Daniel is in school now and I have free time to record a video yeah kind of tired from 50 shades of green <laughs> my favorite colors are purple violet burgundy this is what I love to stitch with but it's gorgeous I love it so so much the result is amazing and not too many people stitching the gouverneur which is give me more desire to stitch it okay guys I will show you quickly 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 some other purchases which is not belong to cross stitch because sometimes I uh, I put in my video very very quickly so I got as a present these two stuff from Valmont this is cosmetic made in Switzerland I think so somewhere I read it was 
yeah, it's made in Switzerland. It's written here. Anyway, this is a mask of Cinderella, and I've been heard. Uh, I've been uh, said that this is like one of the best masks in the market. Blah blah blah. I tried. It's great, but at the moment I can't say it's like worth the money you pay for it. It's great. I'm happy to use it also because it was gift. And this is the scrub. And the smell is amazing. I like it so, so much. So I got these two products and I will show you my latest perfumes as well. This is what I bought myself, which is extremely rare. It's called Eyes on Me. I think so. So this is a box you buy separate. And you can put any perfume, obviously from Mio Mio. Um, it's just like that. Yeah, eyes on me. All eyes on us. <laughs> All eyes on us. Eyes on me. But it's great smell. I love uh, this company Mio Mio a lot. I use. I start. I first bought shoes from them, not because I was looking for them. I, I just needed shoes. We were going to the funeral, I did not have any black shoes, so I just like, I can't buy just normal shoes, I need to buy something. Not because of the funeral, in general, I can't just, I know I will wear them a lot. So I saw them, I fell in love, I was planning to buy some cheapy cheapy shoes, just for one uh, time to wear, but I just saw from Mio Mio those shoes, it's called, called Penny Shoes, and I fell in love with them, and then I constantly go to the store and buy something either small or uh, clothes or whatever but this year I also bought from Mio Mio uh, this is for my hair because I also got two Dyson uh, one is hair dryer another um, styler and um, I do little uh, styles of my hair and I like to add some accessory and uh, ah, I've got also another perfume as a present called uh, Rolling in Love. Uh, I bought probably in my whole entire life four perfumes for myself. The rest I was getting as a present. So this is Kila. Uh, it has very strong smell. I would use it mostly for the night or for the winter. Uh, and I love other, dis uh, other smells from uh, Kila really really a lot but not all and they're also quite pricey and uh, yeah the smell sometimes give me headache but I love that smell really nice I heard it on my girlfriend I'm like what kind of perfume it is she's like oh this is Kila I like always hear about Kila never wanted to get it but then I got it and I really like it, it stays a lot uh, long these two I got also as a present but I don't like them that much. They're, they're okay just for, to go to school, I spray <laughs> with whatever. If I get a present perfume I don't like, I use it in the toilet as a spray. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that, but it's true. What can I do? I can't throw it away, right? Or I re-gift it, but then it's open and it's kind of like... Another cosmetic I use, I have tons, tons of cosmetic. Uh, this is great mask with cranberry and I think it's also made no it's made in the United States but it's great really really like this one you can use day and night just apply for three ten minutes at the beginning you leave for less time than when your skin get used to this kind of cosmetic I have other stuff from uh, cosmetics mm, and um, your skin is really great after that and this brand also it's called Institutum I think it's, yes, yeah, Switzerland and Germany, no, developed in Switzerland, made in Germany. Uh, it's travel from Travel Park, but I have bigger size and I have more of this stuff and I like it. I like it a lot. You can see I use it a lot uh, when I travel. This Gucci powder, uh, powder de beauty, de beauté, poudre de beauté, <laughs> I think. Uh, I don't know all the words in French yet. So, this is Matte Natural, and this is the best powder I ever had. I use it a lot, and this is the best so far. I tried different different kinds, and it has a little other bag, 
the cover. And from Mio Mio, I also got sunglasses. And again, it's my favorite brand now, but I see now more and more people like it. And I don't like it <laughs> as much. I will go, I'll switch to Alaya, Alaya or Alaya, uh, because they also have similar stuff. And Celine. But I spoil myself very rare now because this is just gifts for myself or from someone for some event's birthday or whatever. I lost sunglasses, I had to buy some. So I was like, okay. And I got it as a gift, which is great. Which is great. That's it, guys. I will upload this video. And I also have some other purchases I brought from the United States. I know I promised you to show them quickly, but unfortunately with my school and other stuff, I'm gonna show you in other video uh, and thank you for all your comments your likes and uh, please be my subscriber not to miss my other videos as well uh, go back to my instagram i will post there more details of my work i will appreciate if you will do repost of my video that you're watching it makes me feel so happy <laughs> okay bye bye see you soon